Hi Barbie. Hi Ken. Hi Barbie. Hi Firebirds. Hi Firebirds. Welcome back to the first talent talk of the year. I'm Kinsey. And I'm Emmy. And we are your hosts of Talent Talk. Let's get it. And to start off, we're gonna play the connections. Okay, so maybe like things, things that unravel. Toilet paper. Oh, it's fire. Oh, things that things that are related to poop. Street. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, you're right. Um, man um, in the mirror. Man in the street. No, I'm right. Okay, maybe like maybe a speaker, a projector, a speaker projector. Oh, speaker projector. Um, um, um. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No. Well, wait. Maybe a oh, level. Floor. Sorry. Like of a of a of a building. Level. Floor. And then deck. And then deck. Wait. Wow, are we, we amazing? Going. Are we amazing? We I think one. yes. Okay. Next. Okay. okay. Things that you can see on Instagram. Reels. Posts. Oh, wait, it's not fire. Can you get streaks on Instagram? Yeah. Wait, well, you can get streaks on Snapchat. Oh, wait, you can do things on Snapchat too. Can you... No. No. Okay, glow. Maybe glow. Moon. Or like, wait, things that, Circular. Things that reflect. Oh! Mirror. Wait, the glow reflects? No. Okay. Or like okay. a speaker, they reflect. Or like something. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Speaker. Projector. Screen. Oh, yeah. Wait, screen. wait speaker. Projector. Screen. Yeah, no. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, I feel like okay, I feel like these go and this doesn't. Yeah. Post, speaker, screen, projector. Like this would be like ways of like getting information out. Like yeah. wait, or wait, no. This doesn't seem right. Oh movie things. You like reels and movie reels? Yeah. And then like movie screen, movie projector, movie speaker. Go oh, speaker. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry, got it, we got it. <laughs> they reflect. Or like Ooh. something like that, maybe. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Speaker, projector, screen. Oh yeah. Wait, screen. Wait, speaker, projector, screen. Yeah, I know. Oh. Okay, we're one away. Okay. okay, I feel like okay, I feel like these go and this doesn't. Yeah. Post, speaker, screen, projector. Like this would be like ways of like getting information out. Like yeah. wait or wait. Oh movie things. You like reels, like movie reels. Yeah. And then like movie screen, movie projector, movie speaker. Go speaker, see what happens. Oh okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry, got it, we got it. Okay, okay. maybe like well egg. Circle things? Ooh. Yeah. So, okay. Plus. Oh, oh, oh maybe, 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 maybe like, well, like, the, I mean, like, toilet paper has a hole in it. Does it? Yeah. Like, the, the, like, the roll. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, a roll. Like, like, it rolls things. Oh, you, you can roll, roll like, toilet paper, you can roll a You can't be rolling eggs. You can't roll the sun. <laughs> wait, right things? Let's look at things that like post. Like, post, like, later? Yeah, so I was trying to give you an post later. Wait, double letters. Moon, egg, mirror. Oh, that's good. Toilet paper? There's no double letters. Okay, so it's not letters. Um, maybe like moon, sun, egg, globe. Because, like, we just like, oh, yeah, we just tried this. I was going to say, like, natural. Oh. Okay, mirror? Mirrors, like, do the same. Nathan, help. Nathan, guys, we need help. We're getting help. <laughs> we need to hit our connections. <laughs> this is our best friend, Nathan. Nathan, say hi. hi. He's going to help us with our connections. We're thinking. I'm stuck on street into the paper. Well, maybe it's a concern. Things. The outro is going. Mirror. Yeah. What do you post in the bathroom? What is that paper post? I know this street. It's a little bit hard now. Are these round things? We tried, though. We tried, though. There's nothing. Wait, we're going to get it. There's no connections. We're cheating. No, we're not cheating. We're not cheating. We're not cheating. We don't cheat here. Sun? Okay, I feel like sun and moon together. Yeah. Maybe it's things like. A word that has a different word. Meaning, yeah. Like a so, like, sun could also be, like... Sun. Like your sun. sun. Oh, okay. But then oh, what else is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Okay. We can't not get it. We have to get it. Okay. We don't, we don't Justin Timberlake songs. It's like a mirror. Seems like about eggs or whatever. Um, wait. Um, okay, I'm going to start on the same category. Maybe, like, moon, because, like, you, like, moon, like, you show your butt. Things like, moon once. The moon. Is, is that things in the bathroom? Are we back to? Are we back to things in the bathroom? Well, okay, moon, like, you know, when moon's on, and they, like, like they show your butt. Like, moon, toilet paper. Mirror. Things can break and add a streak. Oh, that's fire. A mirror. You can break. You can break. I guess breaking yeah, like, break the... That's what I was thinking. Oh, wait, what toilet paper? No, wait, what does? Wait, I feel like, you can, I feel like toilet paper makes the most sense. Or, break or, break or can you have white things? Like, toilet paper is white. Eggs have white. Moon kind of white. Mirror? No. I feel like we're wrong. Things like yellow circles. Egg. Sun. Look. Where's Nathan? Nathan, help! Other Nathan! We're stuck. We're stuck already, and we already got help from what Nathan, happened? so we need other we're Nathan. We're stuck. Why is he here? We only have one guest left on our connections, and we need help. <laughs> You could moon someone. That's what we were thinking. You can streak. You can, you can egg moon, someone. You can streak. You can egg and you can TP someone. Oh. Things that you can do to people's houses. That might be it. Things you, illegal yeah. things you can do. Okay. Teenage teenage behavior. Oh. <laughs> yes. 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 Wait, then what is? So what's the last one? Why should be like infamous? Things with an axis. News Newspaper news. names. Okay, so of course, oh. as George okay. would okay. get yeah. that. Oh. That's yeah. Okay, our summer issue is here, so go grab yours outside the journalism room, room 203, or in any of your classrooms and read about what the Firebirds have been up to over the past few months. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, everybody, we have our guest speaker with us today. Woohoo! This is... Announce. Miss Cummings! Yay! <laughs> okay, sorry guys, now to be a little bit less excited because we're talking about something really serious. Yeah. 
Um, Emmy, you introduce. Yeah, so now on a more serious note this month, um, well, it's actually August right now, but when this comes out, it'll be September, and September is Suicide Prevention Month. So if you don't know what that is, which it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's a month that honors victims of suicide, mental health struggles, and it really encourages you to speak out more than ever. Indeed. So as a high school student, it can become especially challenging to stay motivated throughout the school year, especially when work is picking up, the temperature is dropping, life seems insanely busy, and it's really hard to remind yourself of why you're doing everything that you're doing, and it can become very easy to feel consumed by the stress that you're involving yourself in, and we want to talk about why it's so important to remind yourself that what you're doing matters, and that you need to remind yourself that you have a purpose in yourself. So we want to talk about why it's so hard to talk. Um, personally, I feel like it's very hard to talk as a high school student because it can be easy to feel secluded in a school especially as large as our school is. It's very easy to walk in the hallways and feel like you're one in a million and your impact is minimal, Yeah. but that's not true. And we want to really ensure that everybody at Free State knows that they have a purpose and that their belonging at our school is important to everybody. Um, I lost my train of thought. I need talk. <laughs> well, I mean, I just think it's really important to just remember that like everybody either has been in your shoes or is maybe in your shoes so if you're for example like you know anxiety with schoolwork is something common in everybody yeah. students teachers and especially in this generation school is just getting harder and harder with like just how life is and like it's just really hard to not feel stressed but you're not the only one feeling stressed I guarantee everybody has felt that way or is feeling that way so don't be afraid to be like oh well I don't want people to think less of me if I talk like like no people aren't gonna think less of you because you're stressed out at all so true I think everything that the girls are sharing is really powerful and really important um, I think I think one of the things that connects us all is that there are times when life is going to get hard. Mm -hmm. None of us are going to be able to escape that, and that's one thing I try to talk to all my students about. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're dealing with struggles right now in this moment, and it might feel like we are isolated, but everybody is dealing with heartbreak of some, time, of some kind. Everybody mm -hmm. has experienced loss of some kind. It doesn't lessen the magnitude of what you might be going through, but it does help, rem I think, remind people, hey, I'm not alone in this. Mm -hmm. um, there's nobody that's ever going to be better at being you yeah. than you. There will yes. never be a better Kinsey Lake than Kinsey Lake. Never! Right? So keep that in mind, folks. That's what I want to share with yeah. regards to that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think another really big thing to remember, especially coming from me, I'm a very busy person. Um, and that's a personal choice of mine. I like to keep my life on the move at all times. I stay very involved at Free State, which means that I usually have a lot of things to manage with little time. And sometimes it's hard when you start to, your plate becomes so full and you can't, add more time to your day. You can't add more hours to your day. So there becomes a stress of trying to prioritize everything and fitting everything in and also giving your best to everything that you have made a priority of yours. And I think a lot of students are very hard on themselves when it comes to being perfect. And I have been through it. Let me just say I have been involved in a ton of stuff here at Free State and everything that I'm involved in does take a lot of my time up. However, um, I've always made it a goal to remind myself of why I'm doing those things because in the moments of stress where I feel like I'm running from place to place and being stretched so thin because I feel as though I need to be in multiple places at once, it becomes really hard to see the light in everything and remind myself that I'm doing things that make me happy and doing things for my personal benefit. And I feel like sometimes it's really easy to have everything be overshadowed by thinking, oh, I'm doing this for a grade, or I'm doing this for a reputation, so people think that I'm better at something, or so people think that I'm, you know, perfect, which isn't true. You don't need to be perfect. You need to try your best. And if you're trying your best, that's all anyone could ever ask for. If you're trying your best, then you will see so much success and growth throughout your life, because that's all you can do as a human. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. But as long as we're trying our best, that's all that anyone could ever ask of you. Um, and I think that it's really easy to just kind of forget 
why you're doing a lot of things, especially throughout the school year when work picks up and it seems like you're going through the same day over and over again seamlessly, you know, you're going to the same class every day, the same work every day. It starts to feel like you're kind of just walking through the motions of everything. It's almost like a simulation, if you like even could say that. Um, and I think that a really big coping mechanism of mine with stress is just reminding myself that I am doing these things because I love to do them mm -hmm. and I'm at the school because I have goals in my future that I want to reach and just reminding myself that you know what I'm doing now has a purpose and I'm just wasting my time doing things that have no benefit or no outcome in the end. Everything that you do actually has an impact on our world and on our society and I think reminding yourself that you as a person and as an individual have an impact and the, the amount of extracurriculars that you're involved in, the classes that you take, the grades that you have, none of those define your impact as a person. I think that the only thing that can define your impact is what you decide to do with yourself. And I think that really making sure that you are being cognizant of how you want to spend your time and being mindful that what you're doing is beneficial to not only yourself, but even to your peers. Um, I lost my train of thought again, you guys. No, but I think that's a beautiful place said, Kinsey. Like, everything you. has a purpose. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. everything, everything, guys. Yeah. And it. don't be afraid to, like, rely on other people. Or not, like, fully rely, but don't be afraid to, like, like, just reach out to other people because I think, especially your friends and family would rather, you know, you, like, reach out to them and they can help you than just knowing that you're going through it all alone because it sucks and it's hard. Mm -hmm. But, for example, Ms. Cummings here, um, what are some ways that you have helped students combat mental struggles throughout your career? Thanks for asking, girls. Um, there are a couple of things that I do in the classroom every day to um, try and tackle m the importance of mental health before we even get into classwork. Um, one of those things is asking students, giving them the option um, to engage in a mindful breathwork practice at the beginning of every lesson. Mm, uh, yeah, and it's so fun. We do a three to five minute video at the beginning of every class. They can opt in or opt out. There's a, a lot of science to support mindful breathwork. They're actually mm -hmm. doing it in all public, um, public schools, EC through 12 in New York right now. Hey. Um, but our breath actually helps to control our central nervous system, mm -hmm. calm down our feelings, helps to clear the mind, um, and connect us with, with what's going on inside mm -hmm. ourselves. Afterwards, we do um, a feeling wheel. Uh, there's, there's a literal wheel up on the wall, and they choose a word, um, how they're feeling that day, and I talk to each student. I want them to all feel valued and seen and heard, mm -hmm. and it's a, maybe a little uncomfortable for students in the beginning, but something they seem to really like um, by the end of it. Uh, and I think that it reminds them, hey, not everybody's having a great day. Yeah. I think you as students are encountering um, some very specific challenges that people have never experienced before. Mm -hmm. I think social media makes mental health um, even harder. It I mean, I like it, everything. yes, that's yeah. such a better way to put it. That's <laughs> so true. And I try to remind students, like, people are picking what you get to see about their lives and yeah. they're filtering those experiences too so what might look so perfect and beautiful is not necessarily the entire picture mm -hmm. um, I, I just try to talk to students mm -hmm. I listen to them I have the benefit of being an English teacher so a lot of times people open up in writing assignments mm -hmm. and I try to give them feedback and um, encourage them to get involved I think my happiest students are the ones that are involved, even if they are really stressed out. Mm -hmm. I think you guys, um, you ladies, spoke to some really powerful points earlier with regards to that. Um, but those are some things. Those are some specific things that I've tried to do to help support my students' mental health. Yeah. Um, and don't forget restorative circle. Restorative circles, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Restorative circle. <gasps> we are team restorative circle here at Talent Talk. Yes. 
That is such a powerful practice, sitting down. When we've had a challenge mm -hmm. or a difficulty, um, sitting down with the entire group, getting everyone the opportunity to speak. Um, in instances like that, if somebody speaks over you, starting the whole circle over again, that way everybody can get out in the air how they're feeling and move through it. Because we know when we bottle things up, that's when things explode and yes. that's when things get difficult. Yes. Um, so I, yes, that is yes, it. That is it. That <laughs> is 100% it. And the classroom. And I'm so glad that that is something that you all are a fan of too, because I think yes. it makes a difference. I'm restore the circle. Yay. I'm team restore the circle. No, yeah, I totally would have to agree with Ms. Cummings. I feel like another big fall of a lot of kids can be bottling up your emotions mm -hmm. and feeling like maybe your emotions aren't valid or don't need to be heard by other people, which is not true. Um, I can almost guarantee you there is at least one other person in our student body that probably feels pretty similar to how you're feeling throughout the entire school year, whether it's you're feeling stressed, you're feeling down, you're feeling maybe super anxious about a test you have coming up, whatever. It's, it's relatable to somebody, and I can promise you that. And I know that everybody has their own challenges, their own triumphs to overcome, and that's a big thing that we are trying to work on here at Free State is making everybody feel as though they have a platform to speak about those things. And we have a lot of resources that you guys can reach out to to talk about those things. So if you know anyone that is struggling or feeling alone, please use the resources that are on the screen. We're going to try and edit them in there, guys. We'll see if it works. <laughs> but we want everybody to feel loved and included. We want you guys to all know that you matter, okay? So our suicide crisis and lifeline, you can dial 99 or 988. And then the crisis text line, you can text HOME in all caps to 741741. And then we have a couple of links and the Burt Nash phone number we'll have on the screen as well. So please share those resources if you know anybody or if you are feeling like you're feeling lost or need help or feeling alone. Please, please, please share those. Um, and you don't have to reach out if it's not an emergency. Like, you don't have to, if, like if you're in a crisis, or if you're not in a crisis, you can still reach out. Don't yeah. don't feel like what you're going through doesn't matter enough to not reach out. Yes, absolutely reach out. And we have so many people at the school, like Ms. Cummings, who I'm sure you can go rant to all day long if you really want to. I'm in 316. If ever you need to chat, we have an amazing mental health team. But you are essential. You are needed on this world, and people notice you, whether mm -hmm. you think so or not. Mm -hmm. You are beautiful, and we love you yes. all. We, we love you. We love you all. <laughs> okay, guys, is that is that end of? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Miss Cummings, for yes. coming on. Yes. Thank you, Miss Cummings, for talking with thank us. Thank you for this lessons. opportunity. You two are amazing, and I really appreciate it. Yes, your of time. course. We love you, Miss Cummings. Okay. Slay all day. You're slay all day. I love you. Okay. I can't wait for next semester. Of course. You're amazing. It was nice to meet you. You guys rock. Before Anna. Happier note, of course, which is, yeah. Um, so, we have a quote today. We have a quote, everything, but... This is our yes. quote of the quote day. Of, yeah. Insert um, quote of the day with sparkle emojis. Um, <laughs> if you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain by Dolly Parton. We love her. Certified. Certified Dolly Parton. Okay, guys, final closing message of the day. Let's think about what we've got coming up here this week, y'all. It is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. I had a math test yesterday. Are we five days into the school year? Yes. Did I get an A on that math test? Yes. So I am feeling great. I hope you all are feeling great. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to today's Talent Talk. Keep spreading love. Keep making good choices. Be a friend to all. And never forget, stay Freddy Fierce. Yeah, sure. I can't. <laughs> like, Is Abby gonna say anything goodbye? I'm not saying anything. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm like 45.